Sometimes it's nice to actually do something, huh? <laughs> I understand the vibe. We went 1 HP and sniped that and maybe got that. And we can get 4 total. It's actually a pretty good act for 1 HP elites, I think. Also because the other ones didn't look very good. Hey, Alien Bloom. Elaine Bloom. I'm not sure where the starts and ends are. Or words there. Man, I am so not going to a shop. I guess I could go this way. I don't want to, though. So much money. And I hold regret on my deck for the entire act. So much money. I don't know if I can. I think I probably can't. I'm going to get a question mark shop and I'm going to hate myself. You don't know how I handle streaming? Hey, me neither. Me neither. Man, that is rough. That was a lot of question mark always. And you clear wasted. I could take a cloak and dagger, I guess. Well, I'm still trying to fight all the elites, but my deck, uh, yeah. I forgot to get any relics and upgrades before I started because my Nails Lament didn't work. It was bad. One of my mods pushed you, and now you have fell over and have to buy a couple of books. Well, that is just unacceptable. I'm sorry. Uh, that feels like a bad reshuffle. Okay, this turn's fine. And maybe I drop Predator next turn? And actually, we get through it okay. We do have a Gambler's Brew if I need it. I think we go for it. Because it's more than just the health that turn, it's also health this turn. I'm pretty sure that saved me. Pretty sure that saved me 15 health. Man, I've had a lot of calipers recently. Bouncing Flask is good with what's currently going on. Uh, we wait. I could play all the block cards, but it just doesn't matter ever, right? Because I'm going to spend two energy on Bouncing Flask anyway. So I can't keep above 15 block per turn. Are Calipers good here? Not really, unfortunately. I... don't think I play Bouncing Flask again. It's like kind of close. It would have cost me 10 health, keep in mind. Maybe I should have. <laughs> would the fight be over this turn? I feel like it would. Hey, small cute frog. Mr. J Orbs. I haven't heard that name in a while. An acro, perhaps? Time to stop going to elite fights, unfortunately. Acro's okay, piercing whale's okay. I'll take the acro. 
wait, be a statue as a relic that actually kind of does something, which is novel. Does my morning routine involve petting mini jorbs? Zenia let me pet her a bit this morning. That was exciting. Like, in bed she'll let me pet her, but she let me pet her just, like, out and about. Very easy malaise. Oh. I think I'd like this a bit. Maybe we take a couple of hallways to try to build rare shots for the elite fight since I just picked up a malaise. Oh, I regret my choice. I really regret my choice. Like a lot. Okay, regen potions get down. I think we can take the cloud. Hard hallway fights are so silly. Like, how much easier is this than the previous hallway fight? Can we talk about this? Is this a thing we can talk about? It's more than a slime easier. The blue slaver is a lot easier than the red slaver. Potions back. Got another couple of commons. I think I'm down to give the elite a go. of malaise. Crippling Cloud's gonna strip artifact charges, so I think I keep it. Speculative accuracy? I don't think so. We got, what, one cloak and dagger? I don't think so. A bouncing flask boss already. I think I survived the act. Well, I guess this is a guardian fight, but I don't think the guardian fight's gonna kill me. Be YOLO! Our Calcum's maybe not awful here. 
Um, that kind of wants Sneko Eye. I think I take Prepared, though. I guess the question is, do I rest or not? I don't think I do. Not with Malaise Plus and our Calcum. Like, it's just this turn, really, and then after that I'm good. It's my favorite relic that lets me dig for other relics at campfires. Great question. Great question. First of all, thank you for the excellent question. That was a good ancient tea sup moment. Max would be good here. Skewer malaise. Seems pretty good. Can I please show what undulating looks like? It's been a while since I undulated on stream. I think the last time I undulated on stream I was playing Darkest Dungeon. That was a long time ago. I thought undulation was against Twitch Toss. I think it might be. That's why I don't do it anymore. We could take bullet time and like really be able to take Sneko Eye. So pretty good with Pyramid. Honestly, I also have Predator. It might just be a really good bullet time. It's not a great after image. After image is a lot worse with Aura Calcum. Even a lot worse. It's a bit worse. I think it's a bullet time. Feels like a bullet time to me. Pandas? Relatively easy pandas. Okay. I have a lot of random stuff. A lot of rares. Um, I think I upgrade the two bullet times so I can acro into them. And then my deck is probably pretty good. Also going to a shop seems really good. Set up bullet time. Hello. It's kind of cool. I guess I'm using some sort of potion here. Does it have to be? No. Can't just wait. Do I just have lethal? I think I just have lethal actually. Never mind. Forgot about Phantasmal Killer. You're saying why I'll go? I like my potions slightly more than Ancient Potion. Setup's honestly not bad here. Unload could be the worst card. 
Unload, like, does have a big number on it. Skewer could be the worst card. I think Skewer is the worst card. When do I ever get to dump energy into a Skewer anymore? Although, like, Phantasmal Killer, Duplication Potion, Skewer is kind of cool. Do I ever need that for, like, Automaton? Wait, I can't leave anymore. I'm stuck in Confirm. There's, there's no back. Back is gone. What? What is this? Wait, cards from my deck are disappearing. Where'd, where'd this card go? What card was that? All right, I guess I'm removing skewer. I don't. I genuinely have no idea what that was. You've been saying things for the four months. Well, well laid plans is happening. Pretty sure backflip's also happening. Harder move Sunday. Hard remove on cards I have. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, Sundial seems good. Okay, now that I have well-laid plans, I think Unload actually is the worst card in my deck. Joke is a rabbit being shot in the head. What? Uh my first sustain relic kinda. The eye is a bullet hole. Oh. Maybe? I don't know about that. I don't think it's fine. It is my first sustain relic. Duplication Pot Survivor for 8 health. Seems okay. What is Viceroy on AGS? I'm not sure what that is. Against the Storm. Gotcha. The fun game. Good luck. It's wild just like having an Aura Calcum. Just like every turn for the entire run, I take six damage less than I would have. I feel like the game would be a lot easier if I regularly had relics like that. I mean, I guess, in theory, you could try to stack Sundial after purchasing it, but we don't do that here, apparently. Blade Dance Plus, man. With a Choke, with a Strength Potion, with a Thousand Cuts. My damage exists, but it isn't great. I think I'll take one Blade Dance Plus.
You thought I wanted the game to be harder? Sometimes. Sometimes not. Would I rather remove Phantasmal Killer or Thousand Cuts? I think Phantasmal Killer. Choke. Could also be Choke. Choke seems good though. Choke seems like better damage than Phantasmal Killer, probably. I want to have a Blade Dance. Why isn't there a cat girl tag on this stream? They have those? They have cat girl tags? I didn't know. Move should have been a Cinder's Bane. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't think of that. It's always Slavers first, huh? Has anybody else noticed that? Just me. Apparently sleeping on how good setup is. Setup's okay for making energy in decks with lots of high energy cards. That's about all it's good at though. It's not like the best card in the world. Maybe I do this first to see where it hits. I feel like that actually changes my turn a lot. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Kind of. It just ends up being this. I'm the best card in the world. Thank you. Well, that was not too bad. This is a much better sustain relic than meal ticket, I guess. The Shadowlands? The Shadowlands. I recommend a Spire Link or two. Uh, have you tried Slay the Spire? I would recommend Slay the Spire. Am I playing a sponsored game later? Nope. I don't know why Nightbot would be advertising Death or Glory. It doesn't say that it is on my end. I do not have the solution. I did play it a few days ago, that is true.
I do often leave the sponsored game up for a bit, but it's not meant to be up right now, so I don't know why it is. Bob's making side deals, maybe. Plausible. Sundial? Yeah. It's done a lot of relevant stuff so far. You try to slay the relics reborn. Posted October 10th. Interesting. I will. Not right now, though. I should have used that to play something with um, setup. It's okay though. My plan is this. Is this? I think. Introduce another enemy to the Shadowlands. For worth. Excellent play there. Not entirely now what this deck is trying to be. There are quite a few ways that this deck kind of went from here. I feel like the simplest one is just going infinite, but. I don't have to. And honestly, I'm kind of low on card removes to do that anyway, so that might not be the easiest one after all. We could have put another stack on Sundial there and should have. You can just take a Catalyst and okay. That simplifies things, I think. Trying to vibe, you can't be crying all the time. I'm sorry, how do you vibe? 
doesn't make any sense. How are you vibing? <laughs> it's like the only way to vibe, crying all the time. I don't think I want to upgrade well laid plans because I'm pretty sure I'm taking pyramid. Just upgrade this one. Whenever you listen to Phoebe Bridges, you're reminded of the deep emptiness that permeates the whole of your being. It's good to know yourself. Am I wrong? <laughs> hey, deep, deep. How are you? You woke up to an earthquake today. That is certainly a type of vibe, are ya? Hope it wasn't too bad. What's my go-to brand of boxers? Ah, uh, I don't know if I have a go-to brand. I can tell you for socks, I've been doing Hank Green's Socks Club. And it's incredible. I need something like that for underwear. I said I wasn't going to upgrade this, but maybe I am going to upgrade this. I don't know. What else am I upgrading? Reflex? Setup? Acro? Repaired? These are all okay. Let's do this one. Tommy John Boxers, best on the market. Wow, Jorbs, in parenthesis, I ask all of the girls I date to call me Jorbs. These are some great boxers you're wearing. You're right, Brittany. Spears. They were recommended to me by a Twitch chatter. The stacks plan for blocking don't get hit. Well, we have a Malaise Plus, and a Fossilized Helix, and an Aura Calcum. I mean, yeah, it's mostly don't get hit. Don't get hit's a decent strat sometimes. Like the Britney Spears reference apropos with Miss Knives. Britney Spears was kind of the original Miss Knives, huh? Mm. 
Um, another thing is, like, if you just play all of the block cards in your deck every turn, you actually can block quite a lot, even if you don't have that many block cards. How much you block isn't a function of how many block cards you have, it's a function of how many block cards you play per turn. When's the last time I lost a run? I just lost five runs in a row. <laughs> I've been losing plenty of runs. That is not a thing I've been struggling to achieve. Was it five in a row? I think it was five in a row. <laughs> Keep my Ashi. With bullet time, we kind of just have some cards, and then we play all of them at once, and we hope that that wins. And usually it does. Two? Why not? Uh, this is like the opposite of getting a runic pyramid. I want to take a fusion hammer, which is like very bad with having not upgraded well it plants. This is kind of awkward. This is kind of awkward. I think I, uh, I don't know. I could take tiny house. Tiny house seems better than wrist blade slightly. We just use a tactician. Tactician and we're golden. I didn't have to fight Chosen a single time that act. I gave away an ancient pot at the start of Act 2, and I was like, man, I might regret this if I fight Chosen. Actually, I thought I might regret this when I fight Chosen. That's what I actually thought. And I just didn't fight Chosen. So that was a good choice. Alright, let's find a tactician. Ah, uh, yes. Bullet time. Wrist blade is a combo of sorts. Baylor? The mastery challenge win! What's the last one? Clumsy? What was the last one? I haven't been up to date. It was clumsy? Alright, that's what I thought. Well, welcome in, everybody. Playing a game called Slay the Spire. You may have heard of it. Thanks so much for the raid, Baylor. Congrats on your win.
Here at Jorbs.tv, we're trying to win with any collection of cards in our deck and kind of struggling recently, but it's okay. Only took a few weeks of resetting Act 1. How did you find it? Was it from the match and keep? How does one find Clumsy? I've never sat down and thought to myself, like, gee, I really need to find two copies of Clumsy. What is the best way to do it? Boss Swap Cursed Key. Oh, that makes sense. Boss Swaps, like, aren't even in my brain as something that you can do. Just, like, haven't Boss Swapped for a really long time. Don't even know about the clumsy meta. Casual gamer. I am pretty sure that this should result in them all dying. I haven't quite worked out how yet, but you know, it just kind of, you get that vibe. Sundial's on zero, the best number. It gives it some room to improve itself. I found Tactician Plus, good game. It's not really the shop I was hoping for. But I mean, I already found the tacticians, so it doesn't matter if the shop's good. I don't know. Probably not. Kill distraction? Distraction's kind of bad. Loken dagger's kind of bad. Dougie J, thanks for 21 months. Appreciate it. I haven't played Wild Frost since I won my second run. I don't know. I just like, I don't know. If I'm going to play a game like Slay the Spire, I'll just play Slay the Spire. This is generally my approach. There are lots of other games that I can play that are not like Slay the Spire. If I feel like playing a game that isn't Slay the Spire. Sponsors in shambles. The sponsors know. That's one of the nice things actually about doing sponsored content is that they don't expect me to like say that their thing is the best thing ever. It's not like doing like an energy drink sponsorship where they're like, yeah. Tell your audience that we have revolutionized energy drinks. This energy drink is the best energy drink ever made. With game sponsorships, it's like, please play our game for a couple of hours and like, don't be too mean to us. <laughs> Watch backpack battles. I mean, I don't like PvP games and didn't like backpack heroes, so. <laughs> Doesn't seem like my game. But if it is your game, I am very happy for you. Yeah, it's an auto chess type game. I tried Dancing Duelists. I played one run, I won, I didn't play anymore. I played it off stream. I mean, it's fun, right? I, I like Mega Cred, but it's also a game that they've made in three weeks, very obviously. And I, I mean, they know that too. That's why uh, they don't let anybody pay for it. Giving Sundial room for growth.
Firing at the top with 100% win rate. I guess so. I built the deck where you play lots of cards and killed everything on turn one. I played spin a lot. I have been sponsored to play Call of Duty. That was fun. I like games that aren't Slay the Spire. Like, I play Slay the Spire a lot because you all like watching me play Slay the Spire. That doesn't mean that I don't enjoy other games. I tried to pulverize the pole. I mean... I try not to do that that much because I've heard that it like ruins your sensitivity for... You know... When you're with a partner. But... I'd be lying if I claimed to have... Not tried it like once or twice. I think it's... Everybody's tried it once or twice, right? Pulverize the pole with friends? Oh my. Oh my. Well then. Alright. Sundial is ready for something. I don't... Do I want another acro? I feel kind of like my hand is spending a lot of time being very full. Am I playing Slay the Spire with friends with Hafu? I mean... The other day Hafu came into the stream. I assume in some sort of like game-induced haze. Should probably have been streaming for like 12 hours because Hafu is... Just like the prototype god gamer. She was like, we should play Spire with Friends sometime. And I was like, hell yeah, that would be sweet. Which it would. 100%. That's the last I've heard about it. So. I assume Hafu has to like become the best in the world at like backpack battles or something right now. Like, Hafu's life is. He lives fast. Who's your role model? Love it. Do I want an acro? I have no idea. I don't have an after image. I feel like I'm just gonna like kind of die against the heart unless I lean more into catalyst and less into card spam. I can lean more into catalyst though. It's allowed. She's above Grandmaster rank in backpack battle. See, I didn't even know that she'd ever played that game. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just knew that people had been talking about it sometimes and figured like, yeah, Hafu is probably the best in the world by now. That's just who Hafu is. This is just how it works. We've kind of got up to the part where bullet time's a bad card. Which is always a fun part of a silent run. I guess I should play this. This.
Is bullet time bad or is tactician quite good? Bit of both. Bit of both. Is it breaking the fourth wall when you talk on stream about how you're setting up your streaming interface? I don't know. I haven't done any work to make my stream better for like probably two years. So you're really asking the wrong person here. is kind of doing some work. Ooh, corpse explosion? If I do, in fact, care about catalyst stuff, having another way to apply poison would be kind of good. I don't know that the mode where it explodes really matters. It's kind of just a card that deals 9 poison, applies 9 poison, which is fine. Honestly, that's okay. Mostly cost zero, because I have bullet times. I can't be frail now. I think I still do this. Okay. I have regrets. The JCU, the Jorbs Cinematic Universe. Uh, how does this work? All these bullet time curses in my hand. The Jorbs carrying it. When I was a kid, Slayer the Spire only had two characters. That's great, Jorbs. Let's get you to bed. okay with it, fumes. I'm not, like, in love with it. It's fine. I would not say it's better than fine. I don't really have to buy it. It's kind of expensive. You just buy Acro Tactician? Card removes are probably good. I don't know. My cards are fine. Just card remove next act if I... Don't have anything better to buy. Retirement homes will be sweet. We'll just play video games and board games. I will. Yeah. Assuming the world isn't on fire is optimistic.
Is it still considered bank seating if you sit in the trunk? I sat on the trunk recently. I was at a party and someone was making drinks and I was like, I'll have an interesting drink if you want to make me an interesting drink. That sounds cool. So they made me an interesting drink, which I think was like 60% alcohol by volume or something. And then we drove to see a movie and I got in the car, getting into the trunk. Anyway, it was a good time. They just don't make nights like that anymore. Or maybe they do. My kind of a car. Awesome, like SUV with a very good safety rating. You know how it goes. Not a smart car. It had a, a sky camera. When it was time to park, we could see what the car looked like from above somehow. I don't know how. It's fucking mental. Maybe I should have taken Grand Finale before I whetstone. Oh, does that by launching a drone? That makes a lot of sense. Am I sure this wasn't a dream? Is anybody sure that anything that happens isn't a dream? Like, I'm moderately confident, but... Remember the station wagons with rare facing seats? Yeah, I remember being like six and really wanting to sit in the rare facing seat because it seemed like it should be illegal, and then it turned out that it should have been illegal. Oh boy. Good old days. Oh, I mean, I actually understand how the sky camera works. I'm not actually, <laughs> I'm not actually expressing that I don't understand. I mean, in so far as anyone can understand anything, at least. What if I took a madness? Do I have enough health for that? I don't really like any of these options. I don't think I need madness. We block against the heart. We buy another card that generates poison, and then the heart fight only lasts a few turns. It's the hope. Will it happen? I don't know. Good turn. I think more things should cause you to just lose more max HP. Smoking a cigarette. Night out with the boys. Sleeping wrong. <laughs> Going to work, sure, yep, that one too.
a great idea, dear all. That sounds like a much better relic. seems to really, like, very much understand that it doesn't have any strength. Good for you, Time Eater. I would appreciate it if you stopped, though. Poison. Maybe we should have bought the Noxious Fumes. Maybe I should have bought the Noxious Fumes. Okay, this is getting really close to working. God, it's doing this shit again. I didn't even notice. I just kind of assumed that there would be a turn where I wasn't taking infinite damage from the enemy with minus 7 million strength. Shows what I know. Silly me. This should work. Yeah, this works. Easy. And I even almost kept Sundial on too, but not quite. Wait, I still had a drawdown? So lucky. I didn't realize that. Actually, I was pretty sure I didn't. Calculated. Everything that just happened was deliberate. Oops, explosion might be kind of useful here. Nah, I don't need deck effect, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters in the don't need deck fight. So we're killing this one. Bad. Is there anything that Dino Daka fight challenges you on that isn't also challenged by the other two bosses? Daisies? Not like a good answer because Dino Daka is just a very easy fight, but it is kind of the answer. Geometry? Sure. Sure, I guess so.
hunger. Maybe. The only boss which scale naturally. I mean... Sure, if your deck doesn't have to play cards, I guess that's true. I think Time Eater does scale against most decks, though. You think the heart scales naturally? I think we're talking about Act 3 bosses specifically. Pretty sure. I might upgrade Survivor, so I can play a block card for more than 8 block. Don't love it. Ooh, leg sweep. Okay. I guess I take Fumes now. Probably this, and this, and this. That's okay. cards would I like to play? stream down? Did the internet break? Oh, it's back. This thing's the 35 months. And it feels like having Sundial on the right number might actually matter for the hard fight. Call it a hunch.
Relics are better when they do things. Bronze Scale. Man, if Prepared didn't deal me two damage, it would be a good card here. Alright, well, Bronze Scales is more damage. Probably Liquid Memories is on Bouncing Flask, so I can Catalyst up to, like, 100. Yeah. Don't think I need a weak potion. Do we just a bouncing class gear, or do we go for more? Because we can get so much more. We can acro into tactician bullet time, and we get so much more. I think I have to acro. Well, I missed everything. I think I'm going again, though. There is discard bullet time into liquid memories bullet time. That is a thing. But then I don't have um, liquid memories anymore. I think I drew all of my acros and backers. And maybe also all of my block cards, arguably. Ah, uh, let's just do this. Now I don't take damage for the first few attacks. I also don't get to play any cards. Apparently. <laughs> Um, that is kind of bad. It's not that bad, honestly. It could be worse. Turn draw, and I have a buffer stack, or our account brother. Of both buffer sack and our calcum. Alright. Does feel like these cards could have been better to draw earlier in the fight. I think at this point it's actually Time to Liquid Memories and Acro Plus. Care about setup. Astro Fields, thanks for 45 months. I appreciate it. It's time for Catalyst yet. I've got a while still. I'm gonna say Poison deck or a Shiv deck. 
Probably not. Ow. a predator deck. Is it not a predator deck? order matters anymore though so the one thing is I don't have my mollies in hand and I kind of need it we have to go look for it now Piercing well, that's easier. Leg sweep and what? Sweep right. Just already you. GG. Max HP silent, too powerful. If I was going to hang out with someone on their deck, would I rather it be on a poison deck or a shiv deck? Ooh, almost 3,000 score. 